All right, people. So today we're going to discuss Vibes Cartel and his most recent interview with Brando Music Review Zine. And the part we're going to discuss is the part where, yeah, I guess you can say that is kind of the most controversial part out of the whole interview scene, which is where Vibes Cartel lists out his top five most lyrical dancehall artists. You understand? So you don't know the list might not be what a lot of persons expected. Maybe certain names would them expect Vibes, Vibes Cartel for call. Them not hear it. So you don't know it have some people in a uproar some people even look upon it say vibes cartel this massacre by not putting massacre on it yes it but maybe the level where vibes cartel put you know like the rest of artists them him just not put massacre upon the scale there you understand which you can't really blame a man for, for feel or him feel if whether or not vibes cartel is being you know um whether they call it no being biased as some people would have said you can't blame him because at the end of the day everybody have a choice everybody have a voice and him just express how him feel so we're gonna talk about it and also more want to tell me phone the top five in the comment section and also i'm gonna tell you know my top five entertainers right now and you don't know we're gonna just talk about the people who vibes cartel call and stuff like that are the people who name who vibes cartel call is it but before i'm gonna further in other topics don't forget for like this video don't forget for subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and make sure you click the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified when i post a new video all right people so for those of you who watch the interview that brenda did with vibes cartel zine do you have a problem with vibes cartel top four lyrical well most lyrical dancehall artists well his opinion you see because you don't know his opinion obviously differ from that of skilly bang and i'm pretty sure if you ask a next dancehall artist it will be different isn't me so i don't really see the big deal why some people are create excitement over it zine but in case you don't know who vibes cartel said right my people mega actually tell you no i only can tell me if you don't see anything wrong with the list who would you replace who you would up keep you know, when you can make me know in the comment section, Zine. So, um, one of the artists, them, who him say definitely after in a theme top five is Chronic Law, or some people call him Law Boss. You understand me, some people? Chronic Law is definitely a lyrical artist, he's definitely a lyricist. If you listen to Chronic Law songs, you sit down and you wonder, say, yo, how the man come up with them? You understand me, so the type of lyrics where him spit is an artist that is very, very, very talented. And Vibes Cartel even said during the interview, say, Chronic Law, remember remind him of himself but chronicler obviously is not vibes cartel chronicler chronicler but you know you have some people who say yo Jano star the artist they remind you of the artist they, yeah man according to vibes cartel chronicler remind him of himself and thing and thing as he may full of lyrics and them thing there and whether vibes cartel said that or not most persons i would say agree say chronicler definitely deserve to be in the top five as it relates to the most lyrical dancehall artist right now people remember we're talking about lyrics we're not talking about who bigger than who we're not talking about who have more number ones we're not talking about who have what trend the most who have the most hit songs who have the biggest views on youtube we're talking about lyricists seeing because some people seem like them are confused the thing and you know me see people are put out for them top five or even not, not even say well yeah you can't say them are put out for them top five and them are put some art when the lyrical none at all but the artist them are big artists and a bad artist what about artists were full of lyrics so chronicler i'm sure enough i would know that agree say yes chronicler deserve for the pandelis you see me next person we talk about is idonia somebody who me that says an underrated dancehall artist in my opinion i feel like donia underrated and even though i don't see donia and cartel link since cartel come out that does go to show you say cartel now have no bad blood towards idonia because him put him in the top five you understand me and some people even though i not going to say that still because when you think about it him they put massacre in it and some people same have bad vibes towards massacre which is why i'm not adding in there but we so talk about that so him say idonia very lyrical artist the only thing i can say that well with idonia to me him not consistent you understand i remember at one point in a idonia career you see their own vibes cartel you know remember that is the man we say adi and my daddy who want vex go and vex you know or whatever i'm saying you know. so you don't know say idonia more say at some point in them career him did look up to vibes cartel zine or me never want to look up because you know some artists i got say me never look up to him you know but he's an artist from me they respect i don't never see him look up to vibes cartel but me feel like same did look up to him at one point if you ever say adi or your daddy then 
obviously, you know, you, 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 you look upon him a certain way. Because no man now go say, yo, I'm a father that, you know, like how Bunty, like how Cartel say Bunty, I'm daddy, you know. Obviously, Cartel look up to Bunty because Bunty boss him and them things, is it? So, I don't, yeah, we can say him definitely deserve for the panelists as well. Um, next person who Cartel it call out is an artist when named Assassin. Zin, him is another underrated artist. Him is an artist who also went at Cartel at one point in his career. You see me? He was Praga Benz, he'd get drawn in the war. Praga did have a coming night and you don't know him, did have to do a one tune of a Cartel and you know a little back and forth did go on. But Assassin, definitely a lyricist. You see it? Even though he changed his name now to Agent Sasko, and Assassin also revealed say, him now go to certain type of songs no more, you know, like the gun songs, them, um, which is definitely a good change. You see me? He might head in the right direction, more than say. Um, but he's a lyricist as well So that our three artists We talk about this all right And the fourth person I remember this is not in any specific order Now the next person Who Vibes Cartel say is Skilly Bang Zin. And more than say Skilly Bang is a lyricist But in my personal opinion I remember my number people This is my personal opinion I would definitely say that Massacre is more lyrical than Skilly Bang. You see me? You know, if you agree with me, it's okay to not agree. Everybody entitled to, to their own opinion. You understand what I say about Skilly Bang, lyrical artist, bad artist, and we can't take that from him. You see me? But if I did have to replace somebody out of the top four of Cartel Call, I would have to say Skilly Bang and replace him with Massacre. And I am not surprised that Vibes Cartel don't call alkaline name because remember, you know, there's a little stigma that's out here, you know, say alkaline don't give respect to Vibes Cartel, none at all. And I think because of that stigma, Vibes Cartel will never, ever, 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 well, I don't think he will ever give alkaline any form of respect, any form of props. Not saying that alkaline is looking for props from any artist, you know, because you know alkaline do him thing him do way more after do. Same way like how Cartel do him thing him do way more after do. So I like none of the artists ever look props from them one another. But me just attack from a fan perspective. I don't think Cartel will ever say, yo, you know, say, the artist here do him thing. You understand what I say? And as I say, because of the thing that's out there where them say alkaline, well, according to some people, him borrow everything from Vibes Cartel and him never, ever, ever get any form of props. So I'm not surprised that alkaline name is not on the list, but I see some people say alkaline name should have on it. And I'm pretty sure them same people know say Cartel never call alkaline name. But Massacre, on the other hand, I was kind of surprised that him never called Massacre name. You understand? I don't know if him not call it because of maybe something that go on between them. We hear many things from the internet say Massacre did one clash cartel at one time and you know at one time Massacre did a crown himself as the king and all of them something there. So I don't really know my people. You understand me and say but you know either way me would have put Massacre upon it and if me did forgive up my top five list this is who and who would have on my top five list. See? Vibes cartel of course Massacre um Mother put Idonia upon it, Labas and Alkaline. Them people would have been on my top five list. You understand? And remember, you know, you know, you don't have to agree with me. There are other persons out there who say lyrical with a lyricist, like Assassin, but I just my list this. So Mother want you tell me your list. And also if you agree with the top four where Cartel say so far, Zin, because he's going to eventually name out the fifth artist based on a post where I see Brenda make on him Instagram page. Seem like him just never post a part of the interview. And of course you know a lot of persons want to hear who are the fifth artist. And I think Brenda writes something Brando. Why may I say Brando? Brando writes something like um, the people are going to shock who the fifth artist are going to be. I'm going to go try to guess and spill because with Vibes Cartel it's very unpredictable. You understand? Right now, I'm not surprised if Vibes Cartel go for an artist like uh, Professor Nuts. No. Then again, the question was from Vibes Cartel time to, to now and Professor Nuts would have been before Cartel. Yes, it. So I don't know. You understand what I mean? We just have to wait and see. But big up to all of the artists, them. Big up to Vibes Cartel. And we just have to respect who the man put as his top five lyricists or top four. We can't force a man to say, oh, you want him to say, you can go out there and voice your opinion if you want. But I'm not going to come and say a shit cartel talk on them something. No, the man 
top four or film top four. Skilly Bang put out film top five and it caused a problem because him put alkaline name in it. And I bet any money if Skilly Bang did left off alkaline name, people would have still cause the same bias, you know? So it's like you're damn if you do and you're damn if you don't. You know what I like to say in there? Anyway, let me know what you think about this and let me know if you don't agree with what Vibes Cartel said in the comment section. I remember you number know, people um, left phone or top five in the comment section. And if you want to put an honorable mention, because sometimes it's so hard for narrow down to those five artists. You know. It's not easy you know, because there are enough lyricists out there and you know, enough tough artists out there. You, know. you understand? And I guess we can wait and say, who cartel I go put as the number five artist and we can forward again and talk about it and thing is it. Anyway, my people, respect to everybody who watched the video. Thanks for supporting the channel is it. I'm out.